Yeah, well, today we are talking about uh, plastics pros and cons. Basically, people are getting carried away by the myth that the ban plastics, plastics is not uh, good for the environment and the society. And so, because the government also has uh, initiated certain uh, bans on certain plastics, that is, uh, the films less than 50 microns, mostly carry bags. So, but in the common uh, people the perception, everybody thinks that okay, banning plastics. Can you imagine if you ban plastics, if you are not using plastics in your uh, day-to-day -day life, can you live? I think plastics is just inseparable in our daily life. Look at your surroundings, everywhere there are plastics. Be it at your home, in a living room, or in a kitchen, or in a bedroom. Every, if you see 60-70 percent of the objects what you are using, uh, the tools we are using are made out of plastic. So it's a, it's a false fallacy that okay, banning plastics and plastics is not good. The, the, the basic problem is the recycling problem and the littering problem. Everybody is throwing out all the plastics. Once we uh, recycle the entire plastics what we use, so definitely that is going to help the economy and uh, the national uh, uh, growth, the GDP also. In the developed countries, you will be observing the banned plastic organ will not be there. They only say the right usage of plastics. So that is what uh, we need to carry out. Today, plastics uh, are helping. It's a big industry. In India itself, it's a 1.5 trillion Indian rupees industry. That means around 23 billion dollar industry. Such a big industry. So we are only thinking IT is a big industry, some of the automotive is a big industry. Plastics is also a very big industry. And there are a lot of opportunities also. Imagine there are 5 million employment, uh, 5 million people are employed in the plastic industry directly. And in the future it only go, go up because of the advent of uh, food parks coming up and also irrigation sector and the agriculture latest innovations. Plastics find its applications everywhere and uh, it's going to be very useful in all the all the sectors especially plastics uh, basically if you see there is uh, extruded plastics and there will be uh, injection molded plastics and also roto molded plastics and blow model plastics in all the four categories it will be used for foods uh, or cosmetics even medical uh, field also healthcare field also if you see today the latest innovations in the plastics are really helping even in the medical field, there is a, a, a technology being invented. It's a biodegradable polymer, bone graft. So that will be introduced into the body, the human body, in the post-cancer surgery and all. And that particular object of the plastic takes automatic shape into the cavity and it gets biodegraded. Imagine, yeah, plastic is going uh, where and all it's going. And the new innovations like ultra-thin uh, solar cells, it's a big innovation. It just a cell is just 1.3 micron thickness, whereas for your understanding, the human hair is 100 micron thickness. Such thin, uh, ultra thin uh, solar cell gets embedded in uh, two, sandwiched between two polymer plates. And this is going to be a big revolution in the energy sector also. And even otherwise also, imagine uh, a country like uh, Netherlands, there is a city called Rotterdam. There are 850 bridges, the pedestrian bridges, they are all becoming old and they are getting replaced by the plastic uh, pre-reinforced, fiber reinforced bridges. Do you know what? These bridges are constructed, rather erected, in just one hour. Can you imagine? Even a prefabricated steel structure cannot be erected in one, uh, one hour, okay? So the tomorrow belongs to plastics. Plastics has roots to everywhere. The only thing is we have to judiciously use the plastics. We should not throw away the used plastics. Collecting the plastic waste is everybody's uh, responsibility. We need to judiciously circulate, uh, recycle the plastic and which in turn uh, paves the way for the circular economy in the future. So that way plastics helps the society a lot.